Kulgana's wallpaper. So this is the last of the video series of wallpaper and painting. We, pa we painted in this room three of the walls and we wallpapered on one. Because that presents a challenge, I wanted to address it in a video. When you bring your wallpaper up against a newly painted wall, most wallpaper hangers, I have to be honest, they don't care. They don't care about the customer. I I'm just telling you the truth. They don't care about getting a glue residue on brand new paint. And I'm gonna show you that you shouldn't do that. Okay, uh, wallpaper glue is corrosive. I guarantee you, if you get wallpaper glue on new paint, it will be corrosive enough to mar the surface. The homeowner is not going to see it, but you'll see it as a professional. And I'm telling you, if you're a do-it-yourself or at home, try to protect the newly painted wall. If you can't do it, wallpaper the next day. And this way you can wipe down your paint that was painted yesterday. But when you're doing it hours later, there are several layers of paint that need to cure. The first two top layers of the paint are dry to the touch, but if you should press on it with your nail, you will come up with paint on your finger. Why is that? Because the two layers underneath the paint is actually still wet, and none of it's cured yet. You need at least 16 hours before it's cured. I would give it 24. So how do you protect the walls? Well, I'm going to show you the way I do it, and I want you to leave me a comment as to how you do it. So I just took painter's plastic, and I put it from here to here. This is protecting my wall. It makes a mess. I, I know that. And I'm not crazy about that. But by the time I have this cut and remove my wallpaper, uh, the plastic, I mean, I'll be able to work it in, add a little glue, and protect my newly painted surfaces without marring the surface with glue. Okay, let's see. Let's see how I do. Far so good. I'm at the point where I'm going to trim this down, and the plastic will no longer be necessary. Do you like the wallpaper? I do. Do you like the wallpaper hanger? Okay. Okay, I'm going to loosen the stress on my plastic so that I can get my paper right into the corner. Now, I'm not going to cut my wallpaper exactly to where I need it, except for the ceiling. Because I don't want to cut it too short. I'm going to, I'm going to leave a few sixteenths on the wallpaper on my new wall, just in case I need a little more. You know, once you cut it, that's it. Right. 
the reason I'm doing that is because although this paper is extremely durable, the edges are tearing on me. And so short bursts prevent tearing. You, you do short bursts and you angle the blade parallel with either the ceiling or the wall. Instead of using the point, you kind of use just under the point. My cameraman got engaged, so he's as happy as a honeybee. Okay, folks, let's see how I did. Remember, the plastic may look messy. I get it. I know that. But we're trying to prevent a bigger mess. As you can see, it's not a bad idea. Fortunately, I'm six feet tall, and I can hold it up. Okay, let's show them how we did. As you can see, I left about two to three sixteenths of an inch of my wallpaper onto the wall, because with the plastic, I wasn't sure where the edge was. So I don't want to overcut it. But don't just wing it and get wallpaper glue all over your new wall. If you can't do this, wait for tomorrow and wallpaper the thing tomorrow. I'll just show you the, the last part of it and then we'll be done with it. Okay, there you have it. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan as Wallpaper. Click on like, please subscribe to my channel, share with a friend, and leave a comment as to how you do this in your wallpaper projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.